Good morrow and welcome to the show. My name's Double A, and this is Veronica, and welcome to Hardcore New Vegas. On the last episode, we walked around Freeside, gambled a little bit, ultimately became friends with the uh, Mr. King guy, and uh, he asked us to talk to this guy, ask him why he's doing so good. So, if you need to cross Freeside, no one will keep you safer than I will. All right, how much for your services? Two hundred pounds. Oh my gosh! To the south gate. <laughs> Um, uh, 200 caps, that's twice what everyone else is charging. Hey, you want the best, you have to pay for it. Alright, I'll hire you. Done and done. I want to mention a few things up front. In order to ensure your safety, I'm going to uh -huh. follow my instructions to the letter. Alright. We're heading down the main street here the whole way down. No detours. You go off sightseeing, and I go off to find another customer. <laughs> Alrighty. What kind of weapon is that? Hmm. Oh, never mind. To your left here is the old Mormon fort. You get yeah. Right up, the followers there will patch you right up. Well, that's nice. Oh, oh, you're a hard ass, aren't you? We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Oh yeah. Oh there you are. Down to the right here is the fun part of town. You haven't seen Freesock until you've been to the Wrangler. Oh. Hey, slow down. Yeah. I don't like the look of some of those men ahead. Let's okay. take a different way around. Alright. Whatever. You coming, girl? Jump. Where are you going? Stop running! Wait a second. Don't worry about. If you had hired one of those other hacks, you'd be up to your ass in low life right about now. You don't fire three shots and there are four guys there. Uh, Notice that, did you? I keenly aimed one of the shots through some soft tissue of one of them to hit the man behind him. Really? Or you just fake this whole thing to drum up repeat That's business? That's an interesting theory you've got there. I suggest you keep it to yourself. Let's get moving. Uh, you should give me all your money or I'll tell it stuff. I think I'll keep my money, thanks. You take that fanciful tailor yours wherever you'd like. Now let's go. I have a job to finish. Hold the phone. The thug appears dead and a victim of your recent fight. Examine the body closely. Quick it reveals the body, or the thug is still alive, merely pretending to be dead. What a weirdo. <laughs> what what would happen if I did start shooting them? Well, here we are. No worse for wear, are you? I trust that if you need to cross Freeside again, you'll know who to hire. Nope, not at all. I'm going to kill your friends, though. I don't like being toyed with. So my girl is gonna kick your guys' butt. Boosh! Oh! Alrighty. I don't like make me made a fool of. But I also don't like mess, and there's a perfect place to put this stuff. In the death dumpster.
Whoa-come-o-chang! Look at all that! My magic powers worked! Cast the magical spell. Everybody's back to where they need to be. In the death dumpster. Okay, so now that we've figured out that he's a dirty, dirty liar, we can... Um, hey, stop. What happened here? What is going on? What is Oris doing? Are you guys okay? His members, gang members, fleeing. Uh, whatever. I'll help fight him, but hey, dude. What do you have for me? Um, Oris is a fraud. He fakes attacks on his clients and plays a hero. So that's how it happens. Okay then, I'll have some guys pull him off the street when no one's looking. All right. You've shown me something, so maybe you can help me with a matter that's a little more important. Ah, uh, perhaps. All the folks around these parts have been here a while and resent the sheer number of people that have come into the area since the strip was built. In turn, the newcomers, most of whom come from the NCR, have gotten ornery from being resented. Some ornery. Get violent. This is one of those occasions. Recently, oh. a few friends of mine were attacked, and I want you to find out who did it. Word All right. That they just woke up over at the old Mormon fort just north of here. Head on over, see if they remember anything. Oh, uh, head over right away. Good. I like that enthusiasm. Return when you have some information we can use. Okay. Yeah. Go to the Mormon Fort. Dude, these guys suck. Wait. Yeah, whatever. Where's Mick and Ralph? Hmm. If it can be bought, it can be sold. And it can be stolen. <laughs> to the Mormon Fort! Uh. uh. Oh my god, what are you? Howdy. Uh, I have some questions. And I may have answers. Uh, what do you think about them? What about them? Pretty much the sort of gang you'd find anywhere else. Just with better clothes. The king himself, though? He's got that something special you can't put a finger on. Aww. Skin. <laughs> what do you think about those guys? I reckon they care about getting water and electricity from the dam. And that's where it ends. Oh. The locals here are just an something to step over or stomp down. Ouch. There for the resources, plain and simple. Uh, that's... I'm done talking to everything. Who are you? I've been around a while. Currently working for the followers as a gun for hire. But it's getting rather dull. Aside from protecting them from the occasional thug looking to intercept supply shipments. There isn't much to do around here. Whoa. One researcher I liked who I could chat up about liquor got transferred. Aww. The rest of the dogs are pretty uptight about my kind of fun. <laughs> I bet you've seen a lot over the years. I've been around long enough to observe the patterns of human behavior. Physical and mental anguish are especially exciting to explore. What? That's a bit cryptic, Beatrice. Sounds like you're a bit of a dom. <laughs> hey, who doesn't enjoy a little pinch and squeal every once in a while? Whoa! Let's talk about something else. Oh, mind. oh, got any advice? Time you enjoy wasting isn't wasted time. All right. Longing makes the heart grow fonder. But I've always been a fan of hog tying my lovers to make sure they can't escape. Whoa! Good, bad. The guy with the gun makes the rules. That's true. Till next time. Uh, I hope you don't like me. Ooh.
You there, Roy. What is it? Can't you see I want to be left alone with my friend here? The king asked me to look into your attack. Oh, that's different then. How can I help? I'll do anything to get the bastards that did this. I need you to stand on your head. Oh, um, do you remember about anything about the people who attacked you? They were big guys. Young, too. No old losers like me. <laughs> None of them looked even half my age. I was mostly face down in the dirt, begging for my life when it happened, so... What a little girl! Well, it happened at night. <laughs> we recently made some caps off a bit of scrap we found and wanted to invest it in Into alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> it must have taken a wrong turn and ended up in the squatter side of town. From out of nowhere, the guys show up and start barking questions at us, wanted to know if we were locals. The kid there is about as proud as a local around here gets. <laughs> started yelling back at him. Then all hell broke loose. Oh, damn. Got the worst of it. Sad to say. Oh, I have to get going. I hope you find the bastards that did this. If you want, try asking my friend Wayne over there about him. He saw more than I did. Is he or... It's okay. The king sent him. Yeah, Wayne. That true? Did the king really send you? Uh, he did. Didn't your friend say so? Yeah, if he vouches for you, I guess I can trust you. I don't really know what else I can add. There were a bunch of guys, better dressed than most freesiders, I guess. That uh, a little bit. You're not hiding something from me, are you? What? No, I thought you were supposed to be here to help, and here you are making accusations. Hey, wait, I just remembered something. I'm not sure <laughs> the guys the call another by name. We had just about had it when one of them said, Hey, Lou, we gotta go. At least I think he said Lou. It might have been something else. Lou what? He said Lou something. Something with a T. Tenant. That's what he called him. Lou Tenant. Me. Probably Lieutenant Wayne. Yeah, the Wayne. He means well, but he's dumb as a mutant sometimes. Yes, you are. I hope what I remembered helps. Are you alive? Tell the king we thank him for looking out for us. Follow Hi. Hi. If you're looking for medical help, try the other doctors. I'm just a researcher. Not even a particularly good one. Aw. So are you providing that medical assistance? Not all followers are people persons. Uh -oh. Besides, someone needs to do research. I have no problem with Julie sticking me back here. Out of sight, out of mind. There are worse things one can be, though I do admit it is a bit boring. Uh -huh. As a noble goal, I don't think this research will yield much fruit. No pun intended. There's a pun. Uh, goodbye. Jump. Jet wave second. Who are you? Oh, you're a guard. I wish the followers would give me some better armor. I wish the followers wouldn't be so mean to me, but... Back to the guy. The Mr. King guy. Said they were big, strapping young men that were called lieutenants. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell. Lockbox skills used to open locks. Well, this guy's still dead. Let's stand him up. Look at this guy. Let's roast him. Whoop, whoop, eh, whatever. Alright. Hey. Have you found anything out? Or were you just here to chat? Oh, can I do both? Uh, local men were attacked by soldiers. One of them was invented by a rank. Bunch of soldier boys, huh? Yes. They usually don't come around these parts since their big base is on the other side of the strip. Yeah. If they're coming over here now. It's got to be for a reason. I didn't want to believe the rumors that they're looking to take over Vegas. But now, if something uh -oh. big is going down, I'm sure rumors of it will have spread. Ask around, particularly in the squatter areas where the NCR folk hang. Okay. Also mosey on over to the Mormon fort and chat Julie Farkas up. The followers tend to be in the know about these things. Just don't ask her what to do about it. She'll probably ask you to hug someone or something. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Talk to Julie Farkas. See if they know anything about anything. Yeah. Open mailbox. Uh oh, get the frig out of here. What is that sound? Come to 
some Mick and Ralphs for all your shopping. Oh my god, fine, I will. You're so loud. Eh? <laughs> Big Mick and Ralphs is over here. Right? No, that's not good. There it is. Let's see. What does Mick and Ralph have? Ralph. If you're looking for guns. You talk to Mick. Yeah. Because I've got a nice selection of general supplies. And we're back. What do you have in stock? Um. You can have that. That would be cool for you to have. Uh, I don't have an addiction. Pokemon. Oh, that too. Oh. Container of chlorine. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you. Yep, 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 yep. Mr. Mick. Welcome to Mick and Ralph's. If you need guns, I'm your man. For general support. Yeah, 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 yeah. Could you, uh, do you have any special items Why? for sale? You work for one of the casinos? No. In that case, yes, I do. Follow me. I'm following. Whoa! That's cool. Like I always say, a polite society is an armed society. That is true. All right, let's see what you got, mister. Uh, 45 to 70 government issue. Govt. Hmm. I do need 20 rage, right? Yep. Uh, let's see. Let's C four. Holy crap! <laughs> Cram. I what? Embrace of the Mantis King. <laughs> Uh, little devil. Naughty nightwear. <laughs> Let's see. Um. Uh, we'll do that. Weapons, you can have that. Because I don't really do that at all. Um. I'll do explosives. Just not my style. And you can have that too. And uh, you can have this. Oh, uh, ammo. 12 gauge rounds. You can have them. Uh, let's see. You can have the flavor fuel and that thing in the jig. And that what fudge! Uh, dang it! I didn't want to do that. Welcome to Mick and Ralph's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope. All right. Like I always say, a polite society is you shutting up, please. Thank you. All right, you can do have. Um, that's one thirteen. That's yeah. You can have this and this. You can have both all of those. Um, you can have that. And then ammo. You can have all of those. What else did I get? This and this. Okay. 
20 gauge, 20 gauge rounds. Alright. Let's see. Holy crap, he wanted $219 for a frag grenade. Good God. I gave him three, and he only gave me 81 bucks for it. Ain't that a damn shame. Oh, the nuka breaker. What? A ripper. Hmm. A time bomb. That's nifty. Vault 3 jumpsuit. Whatever. Um. Uh, I probably. If I have a crap ton of 556, I'd waste 10 and a half pounds. Darling, love me. <sighs> you know what? I'm going to cancel this transaction. Welcome Talk to back. him and have him repair some crap for me. I want you to repair my Desperado hat. And now that thing and that thing. Now he should have had more money. <sighs> Dang it. Alright, I'm going to pause it, and then I'll bring it back after I'm done dealing with this friggin' dude. So, peace!